what is going on a1 gang we are back with another video today we have a 2019 bmw x6m got the hood pop now this ain't no knockoff m or anything like that this is the x6m as you can see right there because i get a lot of y'all on the bmw 550i that i did the it had the it was the 550im or the 550M, whichever one I did, it was, it was some with an M package, but it wasn't an M5. A lot of you guys thought it was an M5, but it's not an M5. I'm gonna show y'all an M5. An M5 is there's an M5 that's right over there. That's an M5. You can even see it on the grill right there. That's an M5. That one didn't have the M5 on the badge, on the grill or anything. It didn't have the badge anywhere. But this right here is the X6M. Very beautiful car. Well, not car, SUV. As you can see, very beautiful. You got the big blue brake calibers right there with the M badge in there. I'm gonna show you all the other side because it's peeking out on the other side. And those are some wide tires. So there you go right there you got the m on the brake caliber right there and these are some 285 35 r21s on the front so you got 285s on the front man it's a wide tire just put that in perspective right there look how wide that tire is <laughs> crazy then right here on the rear let's see what you got back here you got you got some 325s r21s my bad, you got 325 30R21s. So, just so y'all can get the full perspective of it. And you got 285 35R21s in the front. So, and just to put these rear wheels into perspective for you, look how wide that is. Look at the tread on there, man. Thing is a monster. Let's go ahead and uh, start it up. Let y'all get this exhaust note real quick. all sound to it man this thing sounds crazy let's go ahead and hop into the sticker real quick so the sticker on this one man I almost fell off the curb right there <laughs> so <clears throat> on the sticker on this one right here let's get into it so you got the mineral white metallic paint you got the Aragon brown full merino leather you got the rear view camera you got all of that good stuff blind spot detection active driving assistant the xenon headlights everything man just beautiful apple carplay is in this one as well too but you're gonna have android auto so for your engine right here your performance wise you got a 4.4 liter v8 twin turbo bmw m twin turbo with an eight speed transmission with the paddle shifters so with all of that good stuff right there that brings your total to 109 595 so let's go ahead and take a look underneath the hood real quick got the bmw right there uh x6m 
So this um, this V8 right here underneath this hood is putting out 567 horsepower. So that's no slouch at all from an SUV. You see y'all probably saying, oh, well the Trackhawk is faster and it doesn't cost as much. Yeah, that's true and all. And you also get all wheel drive. But check this out though. The Trackhawk ain't as luxurious as this. And they basically the same price. You're paying 100000 for the Trackhawk, 109 for this. So, my money's on this BMW. <laughs> In the long run, as far as value and all of that good stuff, hands down. 567 horsepower underneath here, man. Then you got those wide tires as well. You just can't go wrong with this, uh, this SUV. Z9 headlights right there, the angel eyes. Fog lights right there too, I don't have them cut on, but you got the fog lights as well. Look how the mirror is looking too. You see how it's like, it's got like that little teardrop effect at the top, very nice. Got the LEDs in the mirror right here, very nice. Don't mind the, the that's not bird poop, it's like uh, stuff from when you cut grass, that's what it looks like. Like I said, man, 109,595. So, if you haven't looked at that, um, I did a track hawk a while back. Now, this vehicle right here is rear wheel drive, it doesn't have the X drive or anything, so it's just rear wheel drive. But, um, yeah, if you haven't checked out that, um, that uh, track hawk that I did, definitely go check that out and check this one out and tell me what y'all think about it because my money is on this one hands down. So right here you got the leather with the stitch and everything, the soft touch. Got the uh, leather down here too, I forgot what that's called again, the Aragon brown leather, that's what it is. Got the real wood right there. Harman Kardon sound system. Soft touch down here and stitched as you can see. X6 right here, don't, don't mind the, the, the little dirt that's right there. Nice soft touch leather seats as well too. I don't know if I showed y'all the trunk real quick. Let me show y'all the trunk space before I... Um, also, this is your key right here. So you got the M6, um, you know, how they do when you get the M vehicles. You get the, the paint colors with it. So right here in the trunk area, tailgate, you got a nice amount of storage back here as well. License plate brackets and all of that good stuff. You do get a spare tire on this one. But that tire is not nearly as wide. So if you get a flat best believe you got to come up with some money to get that tire fixed tailgate closes very beautiful man come on now check bmw out with it now man back to these aragon brown leather seats right here man let's get in here so nice solid thump to the door suede on the headline alcantara whichever one y'all like to call it vanity mirror with the light now there's no way in the world Jeep can be charging you a hundred thousand dollars for let me turn this radio down. I thought it was turning. There's no way in the world Jeep can charge you a hundred thousand dollars for a vehicle like that. And it, it doesn't look nearly as luxury as this one. Look look how luxurized this is. You got the woods, you got the stitching, you got the big tablet size 12 inch screen to look like. You got the heads up display up there, I think. No, nah, it's just an empty space right there. You don't get the heads up on this one. I'm pretty sure you probably get it on there. You got the M badge right there with the stitching with the colors. Paddle shifters. Everything is nice, soft touching here. You, like I said, the Harman Kardon's right there. Full suede roof. Light controls, all of that good stuff right there. Dual climate control up here. This right here is all your sensors and all of that good stuff right here. I'm just gonna say the sensors button. So don't don't try to come for me and say, oh, that's called this. I don't care what's it called. I'm telling you what it does. This is for all your sensors. So you can go in here and once you hit this button that turns on all your sensors and all that. So your fr uh, frontal collision warning, pedestrian warning, lane departure, and active blind spot detection. There you go, bam, just like that. So it has all of those safety features that you need and want. Right here, this closes down so you won't have to see that stuff for a nice cleaned up look open that up you got your ashtray cigarette lighter two cup holders and we're gonna go ahead and close that back up now this color combo man i'm i'm really feeling this leather for real you got the nice stubby shifter right here 
what does this button do i'm not sure what this button does it's not labeled or anything it doesn't say anything as well but you got your suspension button right here your traction your display right here where you can put it in sport plus efficient mode and it really doesn't have any other mode so you just in sport plus or sport mode or efficient mode so this car is specifically for basically um performance and why oh there it is right there so this button right here is just changing different things right here as far as your sport and sport plus and efficient mode then right here you got your suspension where you can configure the cons suspension then right here you got your drive mode so you got sport sport plus and comfort so really like i said you don't have that many modes in here this this car is specifically for performance right here like it's not even you know what i'm saying it's it's giving you the performance that you need and want that you crave for a hundred thousand dollars right here this screen is not touch screen oh this one is see that's crazy because the um the bmw the 2018 uh six what is it 650 uh grand coupe that i did that screen is basically the same screen but this one you can touch it i don't know if that one you could i touched it it didn't do anything i don't know what it was but this one is actually responding back to me and everything so you don't have to use that if you don't want the the little um track i, I don't want to call it a trackpad it's like a little knob so we're just gonna call it the knob but you do get apple carplay and android not android auto but apple carplay on here so i mean it's nice and easy to move it's not stiff or anything like that you got your navigation right there let's see your map your map is nice and crisp doesn't look outdated or anything tells you real traffic as you can see the traffic is slowing down on the road right in front of us and it's actually slowing down as you can see let's zoom in so you can see it's getting a little slow right there and it's actually lighting up red up there so the yellow so there you go they're giving you real-time traffic updates too bmw killed it man i'm loving bmw more and more that i start to see them for their full potential man very nice easy to use menu i just only thing i just don't like about bmw is how fast they depreciate that's that's ridiculous but you can't control that the real wood right there striations in it right you got your glove box not too much room but it's enough to put something in there right here you got your center consoles it opens up in pieces and in there you got your aux cord and your usb and a 12 volt charger down there we're gonna shut that up up here on the roof you got your sunroof i'm gonna open that up real quick let some of that light get in here very nice you got the m badge right there on the seats so like i said this is not a fake m it's not even though that 550 that i did that wasn't a fake m that's that has an m package on it that's not a that's not an m5 i'm stay tuned for the review i'm gonna actually do an m5 for y'all and show y'all you know and y'all can decipher out the differences and all of that stuff that that m50 uh 550 that i did that's not a that the m5 i'm gonna show y'all the m5 just stay tuned for that review it's, it's coming soon so i like how the roof slopes back you know very nice let's go ahead and get in this back man those rotors and brakes and everything is just huge on this vehicle you got the touch sensors on all four doors as well too got the same materials on this back door that you have on the front door as well with the cup holder right there a little storage right here on the side of the seat nice soft touch seats let's get in here real quick so immediately when you get in here nice thump to the door also you got ambient lighting too it's also on the front up there too it's kind of hard to see in the front because it's, it's the sun not the sun but the, the way the lighting is from the outside is shining in but it's not that bad back here because you got the tenant windows back here so right here you got the ambient lighting right here you got the speaker in the door also man i feel like a baby in this back seat like i feel tiny like i'm not that big anyways five seven five eight headroom is great even though the roof slopes down you got like a little pass through to the front seat right here storage on the back of the seat you got dual climbing back here as well vents you got your cup holders right here it's it's cold so you got a bear chicago gets cold man so you can have the newest of the newest car and stuff just won't work right when you it's cold outside in chicago but you got your cup holders right here got a little storage right here as well very nice elegantly laid out soft touch 
this 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 SUV man performance wise is you you can't you know what I'm saying it's, it's very nice especially for the luxury amenities because like I said go check out the um, the Trackhawk review that I did and that one was like ninety nine thousand and something you might as well just round it up to a hundred thousand dollars man and you're not getting nearly as many safety features the amenities all of that good stuff like that even though this one isn't isn't the x drive model but it's just rear wheel drive but still i would still take this over that track hawk any day of the week look at that that front end man it just screams luxuriousness but uh just like that man i'm out of here and uh like i said stay tuned for the m5 review we're gonna go ahead and knock that out real quick thank you for watching i'm gone